up guys welcome back to the channel my name is dom i'm the owner of la landscape we're a landscape lawn care landscape and uh, hardscape construction company in northeast ohio and uh, i'm 19 years old and today i figured i'd give you guys a tour of the uh, lawn care division of the company um, we do three things we do we have a mowing route we have mow crew we do landscape projects and we do hardscape patios concrete all that stuff and this is what the mowing guys use on a day-to-day -day basis so figured show you guys around, show you what all we use, what all we're working with, what equipment we have. Started off, this is my truck, um, 2020 GMC Denali. This is my personal truck. Um, this isn't what we normally use to mow. We're actually getting another truck for the lawn care guys to use. Um, 2500 Chevy something, but this is my personal truck. Um, pretty nice inside. It's got all the, all the features, everything you can get on it. Denali Ultimate Package, so it's everything, everything they have offered. Back seat's nice and big. Get your cooler back there. Keep your drinks and stuff in it. Um, it's got a shorter bed on it, but it is what it is. Um, keep my toolbox in here. It's just got anything random stuff you need on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, truck tow's all right. I mean, it's not great. It's a 1500, but works to film this video. Works for me. I tow equipment with it daily i tell lawn care trailer with a daily pick up stuff pick up material go give quotes so i like that truck a lot um it's my baby next thing we got this is my trailer um this is a 7 by 16 enclosed um 16 foot long plus the v-nose so really you're looking at like 18 feet up in the front um it's, the, it's tandem axle Two seven thousand or seven thousand pound rating on it. Um, you know, basic trailer is what it is. I did some cool things on the inside. I'll show you guys in a little bit. But next thing we got is the uh, Skag Tiger Cat Two. It's got the vacuum system on it. Just picked this up last fall, like October. We got 110 hours on it right now. Um, it's got the 52 inch velocity deck on it. Here we got the uh, the big Vanguard engine on it, not the small Kawasaki one. It's got the three bag system, so you know you put a lot of grass in here. You got your blower. This is the mower we use for. We use this for cleanups all last year. That's all I used it for last year. Um, we'll be mowing with it. All our bagging will be done with this mower. We have an accelerator too that goes on the on the V ride if we need it. But this is like our main mower for. I like it. It's got a lot of power. Runs good. Haven't had any problem with it yet, but it's brand new. It's only got 110 hours on it, so not bad at all. This is our V-Ride. V-Ride 2. 48 inch deck. Kawasaki on it. 22 horsepower. Um, 1300 hours on this one. I've had this three years now. It's a 2019, 20, something like that. 1300 hours haven't had much go wrong with it we went through a couple deck belts and battery and some filters and stuff but nothing's broken on it yet thing you know knocked on wood but it's not a bad mower wish it had a little more power but we have 48 inch gates we have to get through and this gets it done um just put a new battery in it this morning it's not a bad mower you know i like it i like standing more than sitting um Sit down's heavy, it's big. This you can just hop on it, whip around, get done with what you have to get done. It's a lot faster, I think. It's better on hills, better when it's wet. You know, they both they each have their own purpose. They're each both good mowers. I like them both. I'm glad I bought both of them. These two are Hondas or push mowers. We got uh, HRX two HRX two on sevens. They're identical. Same thing. Um you know whatever it's not like the fanciest whatever the, they got them at home depot but it's what we use for small gates when it's really wet out little ditches you got to push mow and stuff gets the job done haven't done anything to any of them just put gas in them and go and this one i believe is like i don't know 2016 17 maybe that's the first mower i bought so haven't had anything go wrong with it yet i mean yeah we don't use them that much but 
They're nice. I like them a lot. They get the job done. This here's all our handheld stuff we got. So I just picked up the a new 111 RX trimmer and a new uh, new K new combi with an edger. But we got the uh, 111 RX uh, FS91R. The other 111 RX. We like the 111s way better just because they're a lot lighter when you pick them up. There's like nothing to them, and they got way more power. Like this, you just throw around the 91s. 91's a little heavier, but we needed it and I bought it. We use it, but Hedgers, we got the, this is the KM111R, just bought it with the Edger on it. And then this is our KM130R with the Edger on it. We use both of them. Um, had a different one before, just got a new one, replaced it this year, but they work well. Never had a problem with any of this stuff. I like it all a lot. Um, 111's by far my favorite trimmer though. Like it way more than the 91. And we'll see how the new combi does. Haven't used the KM 111 yet, so we'll see how it goes. I like the 130 though. The 130's got a lot of power, works good. We go through these edgers fast though. Like this thing we got probably last October and we already wore through the bottom of it. We go through like two, three of them a year, just goes right through the bottom, opens up the gearbox. So, you know, for 200 bucks you can't complain. Just get a new attachment. But these are our blowers. We got two VR 800s, um, 800 Xs. That one's really an 800 C. I just broke the uh, broke the pull cord off the side because I hated that thing and put an 800 X cord on it. But I like them both. The padding on the C is a little better. The tube's a little better, but gets the job done. And then this is just like some Dewalt whatever. Use it to blow out the trailer, the truck bed, whatever. Yeah, this is what we're working with day-to-day -day basis. The equipment we use, the guys use to get the mowing done. Um, I like it all. No real complaints. So no real problems with anything. And it works for us, so I like that's what we use. I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the trailer. We got the uh, oh, we're rocking with all green touch racks for everything. So we got the blower racks for both the blowers. We got the trimmer racks for the uh, weed whackers and edgers. I got the four position, I had the three, and we got more equipment, so I got the fours hung them up on there. This I built, something stupid, holds trimmer string, and holds trimmer strings, a couple screwdrivers, but it broke, so I should probably fix that or figure something out. I like this, this thing's real convenient though. This thing saves us a bunch of looking through crap and finding stuff, and keep a pair of clippers in here. And, all the green touch keys, deck scraper, nice steel, steel tool in there. And, you know, up front we got a shelf built this too. It's just some two by fours and some plywood. It's nice though, I got a socket set. Just whenever you gotta work on stuff. Towel, keep our gas cans. We got two no spills, five gallons. One's oil, one's gas. And then we got a sure can for the gas I just threw in here. I like the sure cans better. Sure cans are way nicer than the no spills, but we've got a couple cabinets hung up in here. We just got, you know, impact driver, DeWalt, uh, air pump for the tires, and then in here we just got uh, trailer stuff and straps and oil and, you know, random, random crap you need on the day to day. But painted the floor black, painted the walls gray. Just give it a nice look look better in here, keep it a little bit cleaner, but so yeah, it's pretty much my setup. Um, so things will be changing pretty soon. New truck, different trailer, equipment should all stay the same. You guys will see that over the course of the summer. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let me know down in the comments what kind of videos you guys want to see too because I don't really know what you guys want to see, what videos you want me to make. So yeah, thank you guys all thank you guys all for watching.